vlogging like this is so hard. Good morning. We're on the border of Colorado and Utah and we found another awesome BLM area and it's pretty sweet. Like we basically have this whole place for ourselves so we are gonna use the privacy to like shower and stuff. It's pretty nice out here. It's like 90 degrees I think today. It's better than the shitty rain that we dealt with for the last few days. And then we're gonna go bike riding later today. Favorite mountain bikes out? Yeah. Cody's making breakfast. Cody is the chef. Sometimes I cook good things. But Cody cooks better things. So we previously had a camp chef. That wasn't really working for us. It was kind of bulky and big and kind of taken out every time we wanted to cook was annoying. So we got this jet boil. It's kind of scary to cook on it because it's very wobbly. So you kind of have to hold on to your pan the whole time you're cooking. How we do dishes. You have to be very sparing with your water. So you first wash everything off with soap and then you rinse it all at once. All done. Now after that, I just wash the zinc out with some soap. So that's not all disgusting. Because it is a little bit disgusting. So Cody and I just picked up mountain biking as a sport and this is our first like rocky trail that we've done. It's pretty cool out here. There's a lot of like trails you can see way out there. It goes all the way all over these hills and right now it like rained a few days probably. It's kind of fun because when you ride through it the mud like splashes everywhere. Uh, but luckily we have our road shower which we're really excited to use when we get back my legs. This is our road shower and it's a pressurized shower that is solar heated so it's actually warm water. Which is kind of unfortunate right now because it's hot outside but that's okay. Here's my review about the road shower. It's pretty amazing, like it's great. Especially when you're like the only one outside and you can shower outside naked. It's like, <laughs> it's like a, a liberating thing. And yeah, it was actually, the shower was 115 degrees, which is pretty warm, it felt good. I felt like I was taking a real shower in my at my house, but better. The only downfall about that shower is that you probably couldn't use it in the winter if you were anywhere where it's cold because then you'd have to shower outside. Not really cold, but we really like it. Um, we got two like full showers out of it just now, and we'll see how many more we can get. If you shower outside, use a biodegradable soap like Dr. Bronner's. It's just good soap. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Last night we were working on that stuff we were working on. Oh god, oh. And now we're heading to Moab because we want to hang out there. And there's plenty of BLM places out in Moab where you can camp for free. So we're gonna go there and hang out in the town and maybe go to a coffee shop. Right now we're at a rest stop. Cody's trying to find coins right now so he can buy Coca-Cola out of the vending machine here. Um, yeah. Coca-Cola guys there. We made a yummy lunch. Now we're going up there to eat it.
found this cool rock shop and we're gonna get some crystals because we need to attract some positive energy in our lives. I got the crystal Bible, a definitive guide to crystals. And then I got two crystals. This one is called Aventurite, and this one is called Bloodstone. We're gonna go get coffee from this coffee shop down here, and then we're gonna go to a library and work, because it's a good place to work. at the library obviously because we're not in the library anymore we decided that we we're gonna stay in Moab for like a week because we picked up some hip camp sites to photograph if you don't know what hip camp is you can rent your property as a campsite to people and so when people you know post their land on there they don't have like any good pictures so that's where we come in as photographers we take pictures of their site we basically get to camp there for free for a night and we get paid for it, which is definitely a great way to make money if you're traveling um, on the road in the U.S. and you live in a van because, you know, it's somewhere free to sleep for the night. Our first hip camp is in St. George, Utah, near Zion National Park, so we're just going to stay here until then. What else could we talk about? How could we end this? Oh! I could talk about something crazy. So...